Morning. Is Clara turning up for work? Nice and early. So we're out in the cornfield that we drilled yesterday. Just getting giving it a good rolling over. It's going to take me a couple of hours because it is a massive thing. Now this is the second time I've been out in the field this morning. Uh, it's bright and early. It's about half past six in the morning now. A beautiful, uh, beautiful April's morning. Uh, but I tried coming out in the Magnum. Um, ordinarily on a relatively flat field, the Magnum can cope with this thing. Uh, but uh, because this particular field has got some pretty steep inclines around the edges, uh, it pretty much ground to a halt and uh, the gearbox pretty much sounded like it was going to be uh, trying to jump off its mountains. So I had to uh, change my plan of attack, pick up the old faithful. So uh, here we are now. So I've got a couple of hours ahead of me to get this thing uh, rolled over. And then today... We are commencing the planting of the beans. So I've got the uh, I've got the planter still hooked up to the quad track in the uh, workshop. There, I've got a few changes to make uh, to set the planter up from corn to beans. But I'll run that through. I'll run through that with you in a short while when I'm back over there. But hopefully, uh, Clara can uh, manage herself now. She knows where everything is. She knows where the keys are for the tractors. So she's got a few uh, a few tons of manure to uh, to shift and a bit of slurry keep the cows fed no doubt many podcasts to listen to <laughs> right rolling done but that was an absolute nightmare if I'm honest <laughs> I have used so much more fuel than what I should have done doing that job and uh, herein lies the problem as you can see and I know this this problem is entirely particular to me in my fields this field in particular and then assuming it's going to I'm going to come across the same characteristic in the other field as well because of the massive inclines that I've got around the edge of the field especially here and at the far end over there there is a bit over there as well uh, towards the uh, closer to the farm but because of the sheer mass of this roller almost 25 tons as soon as you show it any kind of an incline gravity just wants to win every time uh, so as you can see the roller has been sliding to the right of the tractor as I'm going around the headlands and I'm having to give it a whole load of left hand down just to try and keep it on the straight and narrow um, or wide in this case so yeah ordinarily you'd think massive field massive roller but for me in, uh, very particular to me in my fields uh, it might not be the case um, I think I actually need a lighter narrower roller in order to be able to complete the rolling of the field in the future in one go without having to come back in two and uh, roll over the bits that it's missed because when it's sliding it doesn't it's not doing the right job on into the soil it's not leaving a nice rolled texture so this might have to go um obviously it's not going to cost me any more money because the value of this thing is considerably more than what the narrower rollers are uh, i have put a call into the dealership and funnily enough they do actually have a couple over there um, and they do appreciate the absolute vital importance of it being uh, painted red. Um, so they're going to sort that out for me. They do actually have a used one there that is um, in case colours, which is good. So I think it's just going to be a bit of an exchange and a bit of cash my way. This thing's obviously worth a bit more money than what the smaller ones are. So uh, when it comes to rolling the next field over there, when we get the soybeans drilled, we won't be using this. We'll take a trip to the shop at some point and get them exchanged so anyway it's my rant and moan over <laughs> let's uh, drag this thing back up onto the flat but you see it, it wants to drag the back end of the tractor down as well look at the way it slides it's uh, really quite difficult to uh, maintain on the flat it's fine it's no problem at all um, anyway let's uh, lift this up Get it folded up. When it's on its tyres, it's all right. But because, as I say, because it is so heavy, for me, it just doesn't work in my field. So uh, do a bit of a swap a route. There we go. Right. Anyway, back to the farm. We need to uh, get working on the planter. Get that converted over from uh, corn seed to soybeans. We need to crack on. I wonder how Clara's getting on, where she's up to. I think uh, I've just seen it. 
the top of the hill, yep. We'll let her come down first. Ladies first and all that. Especially if they're earning me money. <laughs> there she is. Slurry tank duties. Right, you can stay there for now. We'll get that cleaned up before we take it back to the dealership and uh, do the transfer. But uh, for now... I need to crack on and get working on the planter. So, what you have to do to change a planter over from corn to soybeans, it's relatively straightforward, it's quite time consuming. Uh, but you need to, obviously, the first thing you need to do is go, need to clean out the hoppers. Uh, I need to get the jet washer in there just to make sure there's no uh, seed residue or anything left over from the corn. Uh, I need to change the seed meters over from the corn meters to the soybean meters. I need to adjust the depth of the planter and there are also there's a few changes that you need to make on the monitors in here and the computer systems good lord that was quick she doesn't hang around does she <laughs> i've got to shift things around her just so i can in case it rained or whatnot there was it had given rain earlier this morning so uh, i stuck the planter in here it's the only pretty much the only chop i've got that i can unfold it in and have the room i've stuck the uh the harvesters <laughs> now they've got the big uh, the big hoppers on top of them they don't even fit in that workshop anymore so I've just got them sat out there Look, that's as close as I can get it without bashing into the door there's only a few inches in it but uh, yeah they won't go in there anymore <laughs> so yeah I'm going to crack on with these changes spend uh, an hour or so getting this thing sorted and we'll get it loaded up with the soybean seed get planting again Right, just giving the hoppers a good wash out. Ready to receive the bean seed, which we will run over to the, uh, the seed tank in a few moments and get filled up. I'm sure we've got enough in here, and we'll also we'll stick a load into the seed tender as well, just in case we need to come into the field with a truck and fill up. Which, uh, considering the size of the fields, I think we'll have to. So, let's get around to the seed tank. Right, all filled up. Let's shut those lids. There we go. Can you believe it? This thing's already got just under 16 work hours on it. It's only been on the farm a few days on it, but uh, yeah, this has been my favourite place to be of late. Right. Let's go get this thing in the field. We'll come back and uh, sort the truck out with the seed tender. But it's time for the beans. Right, got the uh, course programmed into the computers here. I'm going to be leaving a two row gap, much the same as we did in the other field, in the cornfield, just to give ourselves a bit of space to turn around. Um, and I'm leaving the truck and the uh, seed tender filling up to uh, when this does run out, because when it does run out, I think it's going to be pretty much time for lunch. So I'll uh, make my way over to the farm, grab a bite to eat, and sort all that out at the same time. So let's get cracking. Or 
lovers is how it should be. You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah. There we are, the field of beans, done for the year. I'll tell you what though, uh, I've just had a phone call from Clara about an hour ago. She's making me feel old, she really is. There we are, that's the last of the beans. She has been absolutely hard at it all day. There we go, let's turn that off. Lift up and fold up. But yeah. <laughs> really is making me feel old. Not only has she shifted just over 100 tonnes of slurry from both cow stalls to the BGA, she shifted just over 65 tonnes of manure um, and she has been to the shop and back for me and picked up the new roller. She's taken the big one back down there. She cleaned it before she took it of course, picked up the new one which she's got hitched up to the magnum with the floaters there. But while I've essentially just been sat on my arse for the last three hours doing that, She's done all of that and washed everything on the yard that needed washing. And I mean everything. And I'm absolutely gobsmacked. She's done both magnums. There we go. Look at that. Almost as good as the day of the day it was new. She's done the anhydrous toolbar and the tank, which I'm amazed at. I'm very, uh, well, certainly not being derogatory, but she's uh, done an admirable job of shifting that around. I didn't think she was too keen on moving that because I told her how big and heavy and how cumbersome it was. She seemed a bit daunted by the idea, but no, she has absolutely smashed it um, and cleaned it. <laughs> um, she's done my pickup truck and the seed tender, inside and out of the tender, I mean. She's done the Steiger. She's done the telehandler. She's done both slurry tanks. I, 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 just, I just don't know where to start. And obviously she's, fed the, she's kept the cows fed as well. I'm just... Honestly... She's an absolute machine. She really is. And she's put everything back into the shed for me. Quite well done, if I'm honest. Amazing work. So, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> I couldn't have done all that in an afternoon. I really couldn't. I'd been knackered. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I should have had a farm hand a long time ago. That would have saved me many, many bad backs and sore legs and aches and pains. <laughs> So, and she's also asked if um, if she could have a go in the field, because obviously the beans need rolling now. Uh, the weather's given good for the rest of the day. Um, so she's asked if that's why she's got, she's kind of got, like, uh, prompting me there. She's got the uh, the magnum on the floaters hooked up to the new roller here. 
right next to the field entrance. I mean, how can I how can I say no? After what she's done this afternoon, just amazing. So I think, not that I deserve a rest. I've just been sat on my bum, haven't I, for three hours, where she's been just going full at it. But she doesn't want to stop. She wants to uh, she wants to get rolling and uh, do this field. So I mean, what can I say? Of course. <laughs> So I think I might go and grab myself a quick brew, and I think I will uh, will pull the um, quad track and the planter up to the jet washer and give that a clean off because this is going to be kind of done for a wee while now. Now I reckon what we've probably got about five months before we pull these out the ground, six months before we get the corn out the ground, so that should stagger nicely. Um, so let's get this thing into the yard. But yeah, everything's gone down into the field today without a hitch. It's performed flawlessly. It's the cedar. Planter, sorry. Right. So I think I'll do this one. She's done enough washing, hasn't she? Hasn't she? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> right, but yeah, I think I'll go and grab myself a brew. And I think I will... Um, let Clara crack on and uh, get the rolling done. See how she fares in the field. Alright, that's this thing all cleaned off anyway. I'm pretty sure Clara is ready to go in the field. She's got the magnum and the roller in there. Now what, we'll pull the, uh, pull the door down for now. There we go. Nicely done. There's clean equipment locked away for the day. So yeah, let's uh, let's go see how she does in the fields, eh? Go watch her roll the beans. So she should be putting the new roller to the test, and I'm pretty sure this one should behave itself much better than that other whopper that we just got rid of, especially on the the bits that matter, the the big steep inclines that we have in our fields. And she's picked the right tractor for the job as well. She's picked the magnum on the big floaters, so it'll spread its mass out very nicely over this freshly drilled field of beans. So. On your way, love. You're playing your cards with your queen of hearts When everyone folds your forge to holds You're placing your bed, showing no regret You got me tiptoeing around you like you made of glass Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass But you're bound to break down, bound to lose Bound to get knocked right out of your boots When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool, bending all the rules Talking way too loud, and you're talking rude You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a blast. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. To trespass, but you're bound to break down, bound to lose, bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my witchcraft. Oh, when I use my witchcraft, I got my moves, I got my song. When I turn my mojo on, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling strong. It won't take long when I use my witchcraft.
There we go. Oil changed. Oil filters changed. All the fluid levels checked as well. Cool. Everything's tickety boot. Figure, considering the investment I put into this all those weeks ago. Better check it's uh, tip top, as it were. I tell you what, though, I am loving the fact that I've got an extra pair of hands on the farm. Forgive me. I know I said it before, but uh, yeah, it's it really is paying dividends, as it were, because. Uh, if it wasn't for Clara doing what she's done for me today, I'd still be probably filling up the second seed tenders with the seed over in the, in the soybean field. But, as it happens... Oh, hello. Can I hear a tractor? There she is. Back from the back from the field. Excellent stuff. Job well done, mate, if you ask me. Everything looks in one piece. Nice work. How'd you go, love? All right. Everything good? Nice. Listen, I've sorted you some food out on the kitchen table. Just thought, I thought it's the least I could do after your hard work today. Love, you want to go and grab it? I'll be in in a few minutes. Just going to tidy up in here. So yeah, it's just been amazing. It really has. I've had, been able to get so much done. The cow, both cow barns are completely mucked out of all the manure. All the slurry and the manure are in, is over in the BGA. And uh, well, what can I say? We've got a lot done today between the pair of us. Now she's had a first go at a bit of field work as well, so that's excellent. So let's... Uh, we can just leave everything where it is, can't, it? can't we? I've, uh, the fact that she's been able to get that field rolled for me has given me the opportunity to completely tidy up the yard. I've been able to close a few of the doors and everything. And uh, Yeah. Give the quad track a very quick service, a light service as it were, and I've been able to cook us both a bit of food. So it's all good. Well, as I say, let's go and uh, chuck a bit of food in the mouth. And we'll call it that for today. A good day, though. A busy day.